going on guys? Thought I'd make a video on this topic. My camera just did the weirdest thing ever. It literally recognized my face and said Nate. That is just weird. I've never told it who I am or like label contacts. Like I don't really understand how that works. Been like quite a bit of time since the whole phase drama stuff of kicking people happened. I've heard a lot of different opinions so I feel like I could give like my opinion on it. I don't know if you guys really care to hear it. It's definitely some big news right since it's something we grew up with. Like I get it. There was a bunch of OGs that were in there. Agony dirty kitty the other guy that did warzone testy all the time a lot of them just um mainly were making like content that were like uploadable like to social media but when it came to like their own personal channels it wasn't like they were a guy doing something unique and like bringing an audience it was just kind of they all were just doing their own thing which is no hate to them yeah even dirty admitted after like a lot of them got booted i remember seeing dirty tweeting saying like yeah i got too comfortable maybe i should have been doing more things i think phases is just trying to obviously keep it more exclusive like the more something is tighter niche the better it works out like the more cooler it is to get in i think it would have been really good if like agony had gotten up with like kitty and they would have done like videos together like all three of them or like dirty the same thing or like at least the old cod players would be like playing together in the same lobby because all the content that you guys see online is just like people hooking up together like linking together it's like the nelf boys or the nuke squad or there's like the fools i guess there's a lot of different groups and I think it's just more relatable to people when you have somebody to like hang out and vibe with, bounce ideas back and forth. So it's like an ongoing thing. Faze was, I mean, Banks was saying like he wants to bring back the old Face House vibes and people were like, but you kicked everybody that was in there. But I think there was just people that weren't really willing to, well, maybe not willing, but they just never did in the last like five, six years since joining FaZe and going to like the house for the one time or whatever. I never watched any of the content when it was like FaZe Banks and all the, all the like Rice Gum and like uh, Summer Ray. I never watched when like YouTube like took off after that. I didn't even watch when FaZe was in the FaZe house. The only one I really feel for is just Agony cause like that was my main guy that I supported when I um, was watching all the Call of Duty stuff and everything. And obviously clips have fallen off. And every time like COD comes back around, like when it's the first like month or two, then like being good at the game is like the cool thing and there's a lot of content content that's being posted about that like montages clips highlights etc but i think phase obviously with like the last few recruits that they've had they just been more into like just social media and just being in like part of like the mainstream and if you have like a whole bunch of other people on there it's not that cool to be in your team anymore obviously a lot of it didn't make sense like the when they recruited like the girl from stranger things and rain told her like it is lebron james, LeBron james. son he's like about to get drafted it's like none of these dudes are like really doing anything for phase besides phase just like saying that we have these big celebrities on the team and i think they kept a couple guys that would just still keep that OG fan base um, besides all the leaders that are the OG but, like I think they know that everybody would have like been pissed if they would have kept Jeb. Fun fact Jeb actually used to watch me when we were in like the free for all origin he just when I said something he just responded back bang bang and I was like oh shoot he's been watching me <laughs> but I think all of us knew FaZe was getting out of hand for sure like they were making Tostino's hot pocket things I don't even know what they're called Tostino's pizza pockets yeah and then they were like making like guns like uh, water guns at Walmart and just like a bunch of random stuff that I didn't really know. I did like that they did collab with like cool brands like this, like the Bear Bricks. I wish I could buy theirs. It's definitely pricey, especially like the big one like that. But everybody now is just kind of doing their own thing. Like it's not, it's not that deep, you know? Like if you wanted to be part of the team, then you should have been doing something where it was like collaborating with people. But I seen Banks whole rant to McGilligan or Gilly. That guy used to, me and him don't like each other just because of stuff. And he even told that guy, like, yo, you need to watch your tone. Like, I don't know why you're speaking like that. It's just weird when you're an adult and you're just still carrying all that drama with you. There's a time to talk crap, but when you don't know the person, it's just kind of weird to run your mouth because you wouldn't be like that in person. You should say the same things that you would say if they were in front of you, in my opinion. But Banks is just taking all, like, the heat or, like, the face of it for kicking everybody. I think he's just really making it more exclusive. And they're trying to, like, do more more collaborations the only teams that are relevant like really relevant are besides like competitive because competitive will never die out um are just gonna be like the nail boys and everybody like that kind of genre stuff that does like big collaborations together all the time but it's kind of like if you were to get recruited to a job and i get that like phase wasn't really paying people but they are helping you grow your brand and like you can do more with it whether you use the name or not if you're in the team but it's like the same thing for a job like what are you doing for this company you know and it's like they'd be like well i won the recruitment challenge but like 
yeah, you got hired, but like, what have you been doing lately? And it's not, I don't, it's not a stab at anybody. Like everybody does have like real feelings and like they feel like really connected with all them. But even the leaders, like even Banks, Apex, Rain, all them adapt, I think. They don't even like really talk anymore. Temper, they're all just kind of go doing their own thing. But like Call of Duty used to be the main game, right? Like I feel like it went like Halo and Gears of War was like the main cool thing. And then it was Call of Duty and then obviously Fortnite. But like Fortnite has like kind of trickled down to there's nothing like huge anymore there was warzone for a second and everybody's just kind of doing their own lane but yeah i think we all wish we could go back to those times of certain things like me i wish i could go back to like being free for all where like it wasn't playing that much games now they're more just like i don't know i stopped playing when i learned what skill-based matchmaking was i'm not trying to say i'm trying to just destroy everybody but like that was the point i feel like when i'd see somebody at the top back in the day on cod 4 or mw2 and i wasn't that good i'd be like oh i want to be like him you know so you got to put in the time and for me when I hop online it just puts me in one good game I always have one good game where I come back and it's fun and the next one everybody's just jumping the corners and I'm like I can't I can't do this anymore so pretty much play campaign games now I don't think I would want to do like online I miss sniping like warzone is really good I hope hopefully it comes back but I just don't even have time for it like maybe I do and I'm just not making the time but I'd rather be like training exercising finishing the house and like even pick up a job or do business and then like go on vacation but yeah it's pretty interesting to see how everything's played out like if you just stayed true to yourself and what you do it's worked out well for you and you if you just kind of went with the trends of things then like you die off like you want to get like your own type of fan base that just follows you through and through whatever you do like Jeb from day one he already knew what he wanted but people that are kind of more just like trendy it doesn't seem to like stick anymore entertainment is way different now like YouTube obviously was like at the top for a while I think it'll get even better because people just create content often like really often compared to like TV so as TV dies out which it's not doing that good anymore like people are just watching like certain apps I think like YouTube will have another chance or like Rumble will be really good because there's nothing that's censored there but like the whole thing is weird like it's different like the streaming it's IRL streaming everything's like to the max though like if you were to watch like somebody catch pedophiles 10 15 years ago like that would be like breaking news that they were doing that and now it's just like a regular thing that people are just casually doing so I don't know like where else we're gonna go from here because it's like IRL vlogging is the thing now but yeah I would just say to like focus on yourself just keep chasing your own goals don't don't ever compare because then that makes you feel worse it's unrealistic when you dive down the street you see how many regular cars and then you see one you know Lamborghini or one Porsche or whatever you see like one out of 500 or a thousand so it's like it's not even the one percent of people like I hate when people say it's the one percent it's literally like the point zero zero one percent of people that are like getting that and you don't know their shoes you don't know if they're okay in their family I'd just say like focus on yourself enjoy what you want to do life is really too short to get caught up in the negative stuff yeah that'll be it for me guys today comment anything down if you have like a question about something about phase or like your own life I will see you guys in the next video and peace Peace.